with the current situation, looks like uh, many of us is going to end up doing more things online, uh, meetings with Zoom or, or you know, product presentation and uh, uh, doing live videos, uh, live streaming from the home, and uh, there has been issues with uh, the audio for all the videos that is involved. Therefore, actually, it's a it's not a very difficult thing. You just need a lavalier, a, a very inexpensive lavalier from Daiti, the VLAF. I'm using it now. It's here. Right? I did not conceal it because I want you people to hear that uh, I, I, I'm on this uh, lavalier. I'll right, give you a little bit of a sound. Okay? So, uh, in a Zoom meeting, many of them are just uh, basing on the uh, microphone from the laptop which is uh, not going to be very clear therefore plug this in this is just a microphone with a 3.5 mm just plug into uh, the the laptop and you just uh, select external microphone that's it also uh, there are a lot of online teaching my daughter is conducting online classes and uh, she's also using the external microphone but due to her having to move around you know uh, away and uh, come back and away and come back away from the laptop uh, the, she, you know she won't be able to use the lavalier with you know all these cables <laughs> dangling around so therefore she uses this uh, uh, external shotgun mic this is also from Daiti the D3 put it on a stand plug it onto the laptop you also can do the work well, how to set up in Zoom, I have a friend who is, uh, did a very good uh, video on how to set up for Zoom. So, i leave it to him to show you how best it's been done. Take it away. Welcome back to Sound 101. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. Have you ever had an issue where you're on a Zoom call and everyone seems to be just fighting with each other because no one can quite hear each other? We're going to clear all that up for you guys today about how to get much better audio on your next conference call. I don't know how many times I've been on a Zoom call where the other person has completely, completely left, left their speakers, speakers on and I can hear myself talking to myself and it just becomes a nightmare to try to understand the other conversation that's going on, especially when you get multiple people in a Zoom call, it is a nightmare. nightmare. The first thing you need to worry about is acquiring good audio to begin with. So. What you can do in multiple situations uh, with any kind of brand that exists out there is get it yourself a USB microphone or a USB sound card. We actually make one. It's called the HDTX. It's a portable little option. All you have to do to use it as a portable sound card is plug in a USB-C cable, plug in the USB type A into the side of your computer and boom, it's going to be recognized as soon as you turn it on. If I go to the little Apple icon system preferences, I jump over to my sound card. You'll notice in the input, you'll see Deity HDTX, and there you go. You have the Deity HDTX acting as your USB sound card. Now, that's a pricey option. Not everyone's gonna have one of those, especially if you're not a filmmaker that does a lot of stuff with boom poles. A cheaper option for you would be something like the VLOV. It's a little lavalier microphone. By placing it really close to the subject's mouth, me in this particular case, for the Zoom call, I'm gonna get crystal clear audio of just me. And all you have to do is take this little plug and plug it in to your headphone jack. And if I get a green little light, like I do right there, I know it's working. If I go into the Apple icon and I check my system preferences, I go over again to the sound tab, and I check input, you'll notice it now says external microphone. That means it's actually using the VLOV for my audio. So that's tip number one. Get yourself a good microphone to start with. If you're using a microphone that's on your laptop, one, it's like two, maybe three feet away from you. Second, that's where the fans are. That's where the speaker is. You're actually gonna be causing a lot more problems for yourself than actually trying to help by just using the default, right? Like the default's never the perfect situation. It's like the basic situation and we want good audio. Tip number two is actually to use a pair of headphones. Now our headphone jack is already being occupied. You can use a headphone splitter, but you probably already have Bluetooth earbuds or Bluetooth headphones already available to you that you use with your cell phone. So we're gonna use those today for our Zoom call. What's really nice about that is we don't have to worry about the speakers feeding back into our microphone. It's actually just gonna be isolated in our ears. So what we're gonna do is actually go over here, turn on our Bluetooth settings, 
We're then gonna turn on and go to the earbuds that we're using. And now we're gonna go and actually check to make sure everything is set up right. By going over to our sound preferences, we're gonna go to our output and it is now selected the Bluetooth earbuds. Everything's gonna work. We're gonna listen to our Zoom call using our earbuds. The microphone is not gonna hear the earbuds at all. So we have absolutely no bleeding audio whatsoever. So a lot of the things that Zoom likes to do, we now get to disable. And now let's talk about tip number three. Tip number three is we're actually going to go into Zoom and start playing with the preferences. Because a lot of these are set up again by default. And default is basic. We're not basic. That's why you're watching this channel. So we're gonna go into the Zoom preferences. And as the first thing you see, we're in the audio tab. It's already selected our external microphone by default. Wonderful, that's great. But you'll see one problem. It says automatic adjustment to our volume. I don't want to be automatic. If I'm not talking and someone's talking near me, I don't want them to get just automatically picked up because the level's lifted up because the computer thought that's my voice. Well, that's not my voice. That's someone else's voice. So I want to actually set this. So that's turned off. And I'm gonna actually probably set this little gain knob a little bit down and there we go. I'm hitting green. I'm not hitting red too much. It's not blinking red at me. And it's gonna sound just fine because again, microphone I'm right there. It's not that far away from me anymore. It's gonna sound really good. I don't need to add all that extra gain. So my microphone is actually gonna sound really nice and pretty. Now we're gonna go into this advanced tab in the audio tab. When I hit advanced, you're gonna see a lot of things are set up by auto and we don't need them anymore because what we've done already is gotten rid of all the background noise. The background noise being our speakers. So a persistent background noise is often your speakers. It's sometimes air conditioning. If you do have your air conditioner on or a fan because you're in a hot environment, why don't you just set that to, you know, like moderate. You don't need it to be aggressive. You don't need that thing kicking on and kicking off as background noises kind of kick on and off. Just let it set and be locked into place. You don't want the audio pumping. If you're, especially if you're recording or live streaming your Zoom call, you don't want your audio adjustments changing on their own throughout the recording. You want it to just be very locked into place. Now, when it comes to suppress intermittent background sounds, we actually don't need this at all. We're just gonna disable this because there are no background sounds. The lavalier is right here and it's not very sensitive because of the gain settings that we set it to. So if someone walks up behind us, odds are they're not gonna be heard to begin with. So that's okay. And again, echo noise cancellation. Are you in an echoey environment? Probably not. So again, we're just gonna leave that on auto. Really, it doesn't give us the option to go anything more than this, but as you can see, aggressive will cancel out all the background kind of stuff. and. It's not really all that needed for the most part because again, microphone isn't sitting there inside of our laptop reflecting off all the hard surfaces anymore. It's sitting up on our chest, on fabric, away from all the hard surfaces, much closer to our voice, where any kind of echo that may be coming off of our screen is much further away when it comes to inverse square law than the lava layer sitting on our chest. So we're now getting really good pristine audio. And that's really it. I mean, at the end of the day, that's all we need to do in order to get good audio on your next Zoom call. With those three tips, your next Zoom call is going to sound amazing. Well, that is our video. If you like this one, hit that subscribe button. We really could use your support. If you really like this kind of content, hit that bell for notifications so you can find out when we post videos every single time on this channel. If you've got ideas for us in the future that you want videos to be made about, drop them down in that comment section below. If you've got questions about Zoom calls, also, drop those down in that comment section below and hopefully we can help you. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. Thank you for watching. Got it now? I believe Andrew did a very good uh, rundown on how best to use the VLAF for the uh, Zoom meetings. And uh, of course, uh, there are many more applications that you can use and it's so easy. You just plug into the phone and uh, or to your laptop or you, you, you can have your meeting. And uh, the other side is going to hear you so clearly. If you want to hear uh, their voice back to you clearly, buy one and send it to them and ask them to uh, use it. And both of you are going to speak so well, uh, so clearly to, to, to each other. Maybe boyfriend, girlfriend also going to use one. Uh, one staying in Kedah now, cannot come down to Kuala Lumpur. So you talk through the phone, ah, yeah, I cannot see face. You see face, voice no good. Buy one, plug it in. You can see face is pretty handsome, voice is good. Well, a solution for you, for your uh, audio needs in your meetings, in your Zoom, get to us. We'll help you out. Cheers.